What's up, y'all? Welcome back. So in this one, I'm showing y'all how to make the more darker, hard-hitting beats for Lil Baby. And I'm using one of my favorite underrated plugins at the moment. Definitely go check that out if you get a chance. Let's get into it. All right, boys, so for your tempo setting, I'm setting the tempo to 133, but you can go anything from 130 to 140 range. I think that's perfect. The sound selection for your melodies is super important. And I know that there's a ton of overused sounds and really big plugins. So this is some of the sauce that I've been using for a bit now. This plugin here called Pandora. So this plugin just came out and I was going through some of the sounds here and I've noticed that these are perfect for making really melodic, dark and evil beats. Tons of crazy synths, pads, bells, all that. But I'm definitely recommending this as a plugin to have for producers. So I'm gonna put a link in my bio to where you guys can purchase it. And I'm hooking you guys up with a discount code as well. With discount code Lucen, you guys can get like $25 off of the plugin. So if you are serious about your melodies and wanna get new plugins, I definitely go suggest it. So go check it out. I like a sound called bell box right here. I'm gonna have to do division here. So that's half a bar. That's one fourth a bar. Okay, so every one eighth, <laughs> every one eighth, every single eighth a bar. copy and paste it so that's just one pattern of one bar right there we're gonna come here So that's just a two bar pattern now, and now we're going to go even lower. So I want the root notes to go from. That's how I want the root notes to go. And then everything in between those root notes is just going to have just those pattern or those notes right there. So I finally have the pattern down. Before I preview it for you guys, I'm going to shift this up a little bit. And then I'm going to put some halftime on it. And we're going to see how it sounds with the halftime. So I think it'll sound great. So here's what made a huge difference. Adding those lower notes and those higher notes, I especially suggest that if you're making melodies with bells that you want really repetitive. And I got half time and I put it not on 50% or not on 100%, but I just cap it on like around that 30% range. I already want to go straight into the drums with this, but we have to control ourselves. strings here. Uh, let's just go to a solo violin for now. All 
Alright, so I have it set on that violin, but I kind of want to change it. Just the violin is too many higher frequency in there. I'm going to keep one of them up one octave. I'm going to get the other one, lower it down one octave, and turn everything to an 8 bar loop. We're going to export all these as samples, and then we're going to move on straight into the drums. First start off with is the 808. I'm gonna come to this hi hat. I kinda want like a punchy snare. Some of the pauses in your hi-hats can add a lot of bounce to your beat. You have to add pauses in the right places. for the drums I mean yeah I don't think we need to add anything else so I'm gonna preview out these drums for you let you guys listen to it anyways y'all just let me lay this out and then y'all can listen to the entire beat all right y'all thanks again so much for watching um I have that link in the bio for Pandora if you guys want to go check that out. Y'all can listen to the final result right now. I'm out.